Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to scan and 3D print your head. And I'm gonna give you an update to my last video on auto supports. So let's make 3D. So what you're gonna need for this is an iPhone 10 or later. These models have Apple's True Depth camera, which combines an infrared emitter and an infrared camera to scan your face. You're also gonna need to download and install the Bellis 3D Face app from the Apple App Store. And of course, you'll need access to a 3D printer. In my case, I'm gonna be printing this on an Elegoo Mars Pro Resin printer. So I'm opening the app and I'm gonna wait until the app recognizes my face. This is indicated by the green outline around my head. I'm then gonna select the full head option at the bottom and begin scanning by pressing the scan button. Now, follow the directions for scanning. Look at the camera. Turn left. Turn to the middle. Turn right. Turn to the middle. Tilt your head up. Turn to the middle. Tilt your head down. Turn to the middle. Capture completed. Now press save and name your scan. Once your scan is saved, you can now unlock the exporting features for the file. As of this recording, the one-time unlocking fee per file is 99 cents. Once the model is unlocked, you will always have access to the unlocked features for that particular file. These features include exporting a high-resolution face model in OBJ or STL format, selecting a mesh resolution for exporting, create a watertight model for printing, remove the watermark, change the model orientation, that's x-axis up or z-axis up, create a shareable link, or share the model on Facebook. When you export an OBJ format, the provided zip file contains an STL file, an OBJ file, and a JPEG texture file. It also includes a material file, or the MTL file, for mapping the texture to the OBJ file. I've decided to use Autodesk Mesh Mixer to do a mix of my head with a Superman bust that I found on Thingiverse. I put a link to that file in the description. And with that, here's the time lapse of my Mesh Mixer session. I used Chi2Box platform only auto supports and then added medium supports manually. This worked out okay, but the model didn't clean up as well as I thought it would. And I probably wasn't as careful as I should have been while removing the supports. I was really happy with the detail and you can see how the Elegoo standard gray resin really shows that off. This is by far my favorite resin. After filing off the nubs, I applied Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Gloss Black Spray Paint as a base and then a coat of Deco Art Interference Blue Acrylic. Adding some UV clear coat really made the metallic color pop. Although you can see a little bit of damage on the model, it was minimal and I'm pretty happy with it. Also, check this out. This is a completed skull snail model that I was working on in a previous video about using Prusa Auto Supports with Chi2 Box. I used the same painting process with that model using Deco Art Interference Gold and the detail is absolutely amazing. I was really surprised with how well it turned out. Check out the full video here. 
If you're interested in more detailed videos on the mesh mixer techniques or the painting process I used, please let me know in the comments. Also, check out the description for some useful links relevant to this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me to grow my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, go make 3D.